Sachin Pilot met with Gandhi today for the first time since he launched his revolt a month ago as the Congress claimed a breakthrough in the untangling the crisis that had pushed its Rajasthan government led by Ashok Gehlot into crisis. Sources say terms for Sachin Pilot's homecoming along with 18 other rebels were discussed at a meeting at Rahul Gandhi's home. Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Wadra were present. Jammu and Kashmir's bureaucrat turned politician Shah Faisal has quit politics today resigning from the Jammu and Kashmir People's Movement the party he founded last year after quitting the civil services in a statement today the party said Dr Shah Faisal had informed state executive members that he is not in a position to continue with political activities and wants to be freed from the responsibilities of the organization Bollywood actor Riya Chakraborty moved the Supreme Court on Monday with a fresh plea alleging media trial and attempts to pronounce her guilty for the death of Bollywood actor Sushant Singh Rajput. Chakraborty had filed a fresh affidavit in the top court maintaining that Bihar government does not have the jurisdiction to probe and try matter. The actor has also submitted that the transfer of case to the CBI by Bihar police is without jurisdiction. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today held a virtual meeting with chief ministers of six states Assam, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Kerala to review the flood situation there. PM Modi stressed on better coordination between all central and state agencies to have a permanent system to forecast floods and increase in investment in local early warning systems. Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa has recovered completely from COVID-19 and has been discharged from a private hospital in Bengaluru. Chief Minister took to Twitter to make the announcement. The tweet read, "Quote: Thank you, everyone, for your wishes and prayers. I have been discharged from the hospital and will be in self quarantine. Deeply grateful for your affection and support. I look forward to getting back to the routine very soon." The 77-year-old was admitted to the Manipal Hospital on August 2nd after he tested positive for coronavirus. Hong Kong business tycoon Jimmy Lai has been arrested and his newspaper office is raided by police over allegations of collusion with foreign forces. He is the most high-profile arrest so far under the controversial security law imposed by China in June. Lai has been a prominent pro-democracy voice and a supporter of protests that erupted last year. In February, the 71-year-old who also holds UK citizenship was charged with illegal assembly and intimidation. He was granted police bail.